Hey everyone, welcome to Wally Cooks Everything and this episode is going to be a special one. Today I'm making beef with tomato over rice. It's special to me because uh, this is something that my mom and my dad made uh, for me when I was a kid growing up in New York City. It's a very, very basic, uh, simple recipe uh, which, inzo which involves tomatoes and beef, right? The beef here looks a little bit scary i know because i marinated it overnight it's not necessary to marinate it overnight but i prefer to do it i know right now it looks like roadkill this is 200 grams of top side beef i marinated it with one and a half tablespoon of dark soy sauce that's why it looks so dark half a teaspoon of garlic salt half a teaspoon of baking soda baking soda is used to help uh, tenderize the beef and i also used about one teaspoon of sesame oil and that's basically it for that marinade if you don't have the time to marinate it overnight, um, you can do it just for 10 minutes. Okay, so put it in the fridge, uh, marinate all the seasonings and marinate it for 10 minutes. It's not gonna be as good as marinating it overnight, but I understand if you don't have the time to do it, uh, just at least five to 10 minutes, okay? Put it in the fridge, marinate it, and that's it. Okay, so right now I'm gonna start off by cutting my tomatoes. These are beef tomatoes. Um, the tomato that you wanna choose, you want to choose it not too ripe. Because if you choose it too ripe, what's gonna happen is it's just going to disappear as it cooks. And you want to see chunks of tomatoes in this beef and tomato over rice dish. So I'm just gonna cut it into quarters. You can also use plum tomatoes, which is perfectly fine. I see, I've seen a lot of plum tomatoes in Thailand. Um, plum tomatoes are actually cheaper in Thailand. Okay, and then this onion here is actually optional. Um, I don't really put onions into my beef and um, uh, tomato over rice because it's, it's not something that's normally done. Because um, I, I, I ordered this a lot when I was a kid too uh, in takeout restaurants. And uh, even at home, my mom and dad, they, they never really you know put uh, onions inside the beef and tomato dish. So, but I have this little quarter of an onion section here, so that's why I'm using it. And then I have about an inch of an inch of ginger. So I'm just going to take the uh, skin off of the ginger. And the ginger, you can just mince the ginger finely. When I was a kid growing up, I never really liked um, having ginger in my uh, in my food. But as I'm getting older, it's just uh, I guess I've acquired a taste for ginger. But then again, I don't like to eat big pieces of ginger, like chunks of it, uh, but small pieces is, is fine for me. This is about a two teaspoons of ginger, okay? And garlic, I have five cloves of garlic here. Funny thing about garlic is I, I you know, sometimes I, I tell myself, you know, it's not enough, I need to have more garlic. And then I go overkill and it's just too much garlic, so. I'm trying to control myself. Okay, and then just mince the garlic. It doesn't have to be too fine. Okay, so that's my garlic. This is also about, about a tablespoon of garlic. And then finally, one scallion. Um, you can, you're supposed to use green onions, but scallions and green onions are the same. It's just, it's just that the green onions, they're they're like the middle aged version of, um, of uh, scallions, uh, but I couldn't find any uh, green onions at the time, so uh, scallions will do just fine, okay? So just one little stem, okay? And you don't have to cut the uh, scallions too small. Something like this will be just fine, all right? All right, so that's it. Okay, so these are all the ingredients that go into the dish. There are just a few more other items that uh, you want that you might want to add to the dish. One is some water because it depends on, depending on the tomato, if it's very wet, um, you don't need so much water because the, the main key about this tomato and beef over rice dish is, is the gravy. Gravy is what makes this dish so delicious. So we need to add some water to make some sort of gravy, right? Some water. This is about a cup and a half. You don't need all of it. You just basically just take a look at when you're cooking it. Just make sure that uh, if it's too dry, you add water. And then for the gravy part, you need some 
This is a, a slurry of potato starch and water. Basically to make this, all you need is a one to one ratio. So one tablespoon of potato starch and one tablespoon of water. In this dish, I have uh, two tablespoons of potato starch and two tablespoons of water. As I mentioned, when you're cooking, you want to look at the dish, right? If you feel that it needs a little bit more thickening, then you would use this. But you go a little bit at a time, right? Because if you put the whole thing in, or too many, at one time, what happens is the gravy is just gonna be too thick. Some people like that, but I don't. I like my gravy to be just a little bit runny because I can basically spread it all over my rice. Another optional uh, ingredient is sugar uh, because tomatoes, they're inherently um, acidic. So I'm gonna taste it as I go along. Normally I don't cook with sugar, but sometimes for tomatoes, you need a little bit of sweetness just to sort of cancel out the acidity. Um, so have just, you know, some sugar ready on hand, uh, taste as you go and you'll know if you need it or not, all right? So I'm gonna start cooking this um, tomato and beef um, right now over my pan, which is uh, heating up right now. So let's go and do it. So in this pan, I've got two tablespoons of oil and my heat is on medium high because I want to cook the beef first. I want to give the beef a good sear. So all right. my pan is nice and hot. So I'm gonna put in the beef. And at this moment, I wanna also Throw in my ginger and just spread the beef out. I'm gonna give it a turn now. You don't want to overcook the beef. Uh, I would say just cook it about 60%. And then, because I don't want to overcook the beef, I'm going to just separate it, put it into another plate. And then I'm gonna add my tomatoes and my onions. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit. I know it's a little bit dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. So what I'm looking for right now is the, for the tomatoes to be a little bit soft. And when that happens, I'm gonna start adding in some water. So here's some water. Okay. I added about a half a cup of water. So now you just let this cook down and give the tomatoes a little bit of a squeeze just to help it along. Right now I'm just waiting for the water to evaporate down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add the garlic, cause it's almost done. And then, here's the potato starch uh, and water mixture. This is called a slurry. And this is what's gonna thicken up that water, which is uh, going to be uh, an excellent uh, gravy. Mix it up. As I said, I'm gonna put a little bit at a time. I don't want too much, because if I do that, it'll be too, uh, too thick. That's the thing about cooking. Cooking is, you gotta look at it, you gotta taste it. It's not like baking. Baking is more exact. For cooking, you sort of have to adjust, uh, sometimes a lot. These tomatoes are a little bit too big, so I'm gonna break it down a little bit. All right, so that's what I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna drop my beef in. I'm gonna mix that up. There you go, beef and tomatoes. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little. I think I need a little bit more slurry. Just a little bit. 
I'm gonna taste the sauce, see if I need to add any sugar or more salt. Yeah. Definitely need just a little bit of sugar. Some sugar. And instead of salt, I'm actually gonna add some soy sauce. Oh, I forgot to mention, final ingredient, some oyster sauce. Just to give a little bit of that umami flavor. Just a tablespoon. There you go, you see that? It's got a nice little gravy that's a little bit runny. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna cut off the heat. And that's it, man. All right. Gonna give it a little more taste. Because once I know that the gravy is good, I know that everything else in there is gonna be perfect. Mmm. Wow. And finally, throw in the scallions. Scallions, you don't need to cook too long because the green scallions provide a little bit of freshness and color too. All right, man. And that's it. We're finished. All right, so we're finished. As you can see, I had to do a little wardrobe change. Uh, it's very, very hot here. So I have jasmine, white, and brown rice. Tomato and beef. Look at that. All right, check that out. Tomato. It's actually quite a healthy dish. If you don't like beef, you can always add chicken. And that's that. Check that out. Looks good, huh? So part of the reason why I'm making more Chinese food right now is because in about next month, uh, my new baby is going to be born. It's going to be my first child. And I want to make something that, uh, that my mom and my dad made for me when I was a kid. And I will make it for my kid too. So it's, you know, it, it brings back memory uh, making this dish. I mean, it's something I really enjoyed eating back in New York City uh, when I was growing up. You can buy these in takeout restaurants. Uh, you know, most uh, Chinese people, they, they actually eat this for lunch. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool dish to make. It's very easy, very simple. And I hope you guys try and make it because it's, it's really delicious. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to follow my channel by subscribing and hitting the notification button because I'll be making a lot more dishes um, that I really love to eat. Um, so I'm going to be cooking it um, and showing it to you, to everybody here. So thanks for watching and I hope you come back soon. Take care. Bye.